Good afternoon, Red Devils. I'm Chris Serrell, and these are your audio TV announcements for today. Character and word of the week is selflessness. True love is selfless. It is prepared to sacrifice. Sadhu Vaswani. Happy birthday to all of you that have birthdays today. You're special, and we celebrate you. Dress up days for this week. Tomorrow is uh, doing drugs is tacky, so dress like you normally dress. Friday is have character. Say no to drugs. Dress as your favorite character and no masks are allowed. Anime is tomorrow. We will be showing Yana of the Dawn. Now on to Darius with clubs. Thank you, Chris. Him, the Young Christian Male Organization, will be meeting tomorrow morning at 8.30 in the Bistro. Ham is also hosting an event for the Wounded Warriors on November 10th to show appreciation for American heroes who fought for our freedom. They will be teaming up with the CHS Choir to put on performances and culinary will also be catering. Interact, you will be meeting on Friday in Ms. Gunnell's room, room 340 at 8.30 a.m. We will be voting on four officers, discussing upcoming trips along with a canned food drive. You guys are also going to be hosting a canned food drive through the first period classes starting next week and ending on November 18th. The class with the most canned goods, canned goods brought in will win breakfast. Let's help others this holiday season. FBLA is still selling raffle tickets during lunch. You can also purchase them from any business teacher or any participating FBLA member. There are three prizes that amount to over 250 bucks collectively. There will be a general FBLA meeting Thursday morning at 8.20 in Ms. Palerino's room. It is pertinent that you attend this meeting. Very important information will be discussed. There will be a Varsity Math Club meeting tomorrow morning at 8.30 in Mr. German's room. FCA will be this Friday, October 28th at 8.15 a.m. Shirts will be on sale for 10 bucks. Also, Fields of Faith will be Thursday at 6.30 at Glenwood. Now, on to Jamari with sports. Thanks, Darius. These are your sports news for today. Returning varsity wrestlers report Monday, October 31st from 5 to 7 p.m. Wrestling season is almost here. First year wrestlers begin with the evaluation period today, October 26th, and Thursday, October 27th from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. The hydration test for all wrestlers, even football players, is Saturday, November 5th. We will meet at CFA. Remember to have your $20 cash in hand. Contact Coach Morales with any questions. I know you all have been enjoying our features. Please stay tuned for Darius' feature on HOSA. These have been your Red Devil TV announcements. Have a great Red Devil Day. HOSA may be one of the smaller clubs here at Central, but it's definitely a force to be reckoned with. HOSA, its very existence is to enhance the delivery of compassionate quality health care by providing opportunities for knowledge, skill, and leadership development for students. See, back in 1975, 18 representatives from many different states, including Alabama, they voted to form the American Health Occupation Education Student Organization, which was later named HOSA. HOSA, in its main form, is in three main levels. It's in the local level, which is made up of schools that have HOSA, its state level, which is made up of all the HOSA chapters in a particular state, and the national level, which is made up of all the state HOSA chapters within the nation. HOSA has an impact on upwards of 9,000 students every year. I am one of those students who have felt the shockwaves of encouragement HOSA has to offer. Due to my passion for the organization, I was driven to pursue and acquire a leadership position, and so did Audrey Hall. So Audrey, what position do you currently hold for HOSA? I currently hold the position of treasurer. And why did you run for treasurer? I ran for treasurer because I feel that I've obtained a necessary and substantial amount of experience as well as leadership skills in order to help encourage others to become leaders in HOSA as well. And what kind of experience has HOSA given you to prepare you for healthcare? HOSA has given me the opportunity to compete in competitive events, which has allowed me to obtain real world experience in order to be prepared in case something really happens. Um, in your own words, could you tell me? what HOSA, like the reason HOSA exists, in your opinion? Um, HOSA exists because it helps encourage and educate the youth of today in order to have success in the healthcare fields of tomorrow. This is the very youth of today that HOSA plans to educate for the healthcare fields of tomorrow.
This has been Darius Thomas reporting from Central High School.